only 40% of you are subscribed. Fix that. I want to say thank you to my Patreon subscribers and um, my Twitch subscribers. If you want to help out the channel, you can actually help out for as little as a buck a month. Enjoy the video and have some fun. So, let's get down to the reason why I actually want to call the stream in order today. All right, let's go. So, 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 so. Um, a friend of mine who, like, like, knows that I actually am somebody who actually does political commentary and shit like that, they actually supplied a video for my YouTube channel, which was actually really cool because they're not really their political, that political themselves. And so what I did, well, basically they were trying to prove a point with some shit to try to say that, hey, what if we took Wednesday off instead of Saturday and Sunday together? And I was like, hold on. You have made a simple mistake. But let's correct that mistake, shall we? Let's watch this video. The way the work week works is the worst. Waking. Yeah, because it's five days. Like, we can agree with that right now. Because it's five days, it is the fucking worst. But l l let's go. Waking up on Monday, you've got five days in a row of work or school. It's too much for, but by Wednesday, withered is your soul with two more days, nay, three more days until the weekend. This is true. This is actually true, but let's go. But alas, the weekend is also broken. Two is the wrong number of days off because the first day off is just a collapse from the overly long work week. And, and again, nothing that is being said here is something that I disagree with. Shall we proceed? the second day off is tainted by the looming Monday. The traditional weekend is, at best, 50% efficient. It takes three days off just to feel like two days off, and two days off feels like one day off. And for some of us who have to work some Saturdays, yeah, it actually feels like you don't have any day off at all. This is something I agree with. Wow, how do we fix this? But here is where it gets interesting, because one day off isn't none day off. A day off never goes unappreciated. Which This is also true. I know it seems like I'm being a, a pause in Andy, but you guys can see what I mean when we get to it. Brings me to a new schedule for new living. Weekend Wednesday. Take the last three workdays, slide them over one slot, and bring the spare weekend day forward to Wednesday. Now... So... So, 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 so. This is my problem with this. Hold on, you got, uh, uh, that's why I work 16 hour shifts, two and a half, uh, two tw um, 12 hour shifts, three days during the week, and that's why I get four days off, but it takes me, most of those phase to fit on the charge. Here's where I have a disagreement, and we're gonna stick a pin in this disagreement, um, but we're gonna let my man, like, um, I forgot what this fucking channel's name is. Not that I don't disagree with him, but I have a, a small point of contention. Let's, let's go. Oh, when you wake up on Monday, there's only two days to go until weekend Wednesday. Then just three more days till Sunday. I've been working on this schedule and boy, do I love it. Here are the advantages. Productivity goes down without breaks. That's true. This is true. We have studies for this on the scale of a day to the scale of a year or a life and it's certainly true on the scale of a week well-timed breaks equals a more effective you a two-day push followed by a break then a three-day push and rest feels amazing on both cycles the days off wow this he has really put some thought in it and it's actually helped him wow that's great let's continue off are more relaxing and the days on more concentrated. If you're self-employed with control over your schedule or a student able to pick classes to keep days clear, I strongly suggest you give it a try. And if you're an employer, your employee is enthusiastically sharing this video with it. Another point of disagreement, I will never share this video with my employer 
and you guys will understand why. It's worth considering if everyone is on board. Now, of course, Weekend Wednesday won't work for the whole world, and that's fine. Bad, yeah, I know. Because that is true. We will need rotating schedules. So let, let, let's let's kind of go. Let's keep going. That creates an off-cycle advantage for those of us who are on it. Having a free day when everyone else is working makes so many things easier and faster and crowdless. As for the Saturday, you now have time to wrap up the work week without interruptions from the rest of the world, leaving Sunday as a true... Oh, no. Churches oppose anything. They won't keep people with their head straight to the plow, but... No, you guys will understand with my opposition to this whole thing. It's a good plan. It's a sound plan. But they fucked, he fucked up on one thing. Two day of rest. So that's the glory of Weekend Wednesday. More frequent days off that feel 100%, more concentrated and shorter work sprints with a bonus off-cycle advantage. If those sound intriguing, why not give it a try and see if Weekend Wednesday works for you. All right. So we let this video play, and we watched it. But I'm gonna show you guys Boy. where my problem is. My problem is right about here. Watch this. Last three workdays, slide them over one slot and bring the spare weekend day forward. Do you guys see what my problem is? Do you guys see what my problem is? I'll let you know what my problem is. I I I I let you know what my problem is. And NTV, shh, shh, you're ruining it. My problem is, why the fuck do I have to give up my Saturday? Why don't you just give me Wednesday off? This person has literally shown that here, where is it? Productivity without breaks is actually more harmful. That's the problem. Why do we need to work five days a week? We have productivity going through the roof. I don't understand this shit. Because all it is is saying that, oh no, humans need to work most of the week, work week. And, and still, you even if you go to three days off, you still working most of the week. There are studies where they have shown the max, the optimal amount of work is literally four, six, maybe seven hour days. That's it. That's all we need. The only thing that keeping an extra or moving a weekend day off for is to fucking build this goddamn idea that no people just need to work. If they don't work, they're not busy and then they're gonna have like all sorts of things. Like it is so heartbreaking to hear somebody who's self-employed that thinks that, oh no, I need to work five days a week because reasons you run a youtube channel dog i i just oh <coughs> uh friends instituted a four-day work week um so 10 hour shifts three days off uh, 10 hour shift no 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 bill bill we're not talking about that we're talking about six to seven hour shifts with the hour lunch four days a week that's what we're talking about we have look 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 we started the the five day work week because four was like oh yeah we need the planks to go down and we need to get people more out more time and like yeah four started that shit and he realized oh shit if i give people more time off and give people like more money they spend more money and they're more relaxed and they're not drunk on my floor because they have to they try to party or try to rest or like we don't need to work this much. When this five day a week was started, we had motherfucking sticks as tools and we had barely had advocates for calculators. We don't need this shit. Oh god. Oh god. I I and it's this whole, you know, Protestant work after where it's just like I I just like no. And if you as a worker are concerned with the fact that, well, if they cut my hours down, they cut my pay. No, they don't need to cut your pay. You deserve more motherfucking money. I hate to get all Marxist in here and shit, but the profit of a businessman is theft of you. You Do you 
know here, and this is just my rant about the shit. Do you know when motherfucking uh, Facebook gave everybody their like four thousand four hundred dollars for selling their information? You know why that they didn't they didn't bat an eye, they got the shit and they was willing to settle it? Because if a company is making is giving you four hundred dollars, that means they they've made anywhere from sixteen to two thousand dollars off of you. It is a rule for every fucking company that you see that they workforce cost is only thirty percent. And when you when I say there's work first cost, I mean their salary, the benefits, the shit that they have to pay to make sure you can do your job. It's only 30%. They can deal with paying you more for you to work less hours. It will drive up productivity. And before you get the people to say, oh, but if people don't work less, then they get lazy. They make the same argument for Saturdays. I just... I don't get it. Why do we stick to this neoliberal bullshit? Oh, you got to work five days a week. And I, look, look, I admit that I'm a crazy fuck. I worked eight hours today. And now here I am on YouTube doing, like, not only that, did some editing and shit like that. So I get it. I work outside of my normal job. But we shouldn't have to. God. Imagine if we had an extra day off. How many people would take that time to invest into their hobbies? Would invest into their communities? Would invest into themselves? I, I, I don't know. Don't know. I, I don't know. And I'm not, I'm not knocking the the person who made the video. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, like it. Um, with his, I always see. Um. Um, CGP Gray. So yeah, I've watched their videos outside of the stream, and they had some decent, decent videos. That some of the things I agree with, some of the things I don't agree with. But this is definitely just like, why not just give us an extra day off? Why not just say we need an extra day off? I don't know. I don't know. I. Anyway, anyway. This is my little rant. It's like, like I said, my friend provided this video, and I just thought I'd bring it up. Um, please do all the YouTube sh like, share, and subscribe. Um, check out my sponsor in the description, and we're gonna cut this video segment. If I gave myself the power.